heard you wanted to be big. I heard you wanted to be what? Massive. Cut. Lean. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sweet. Hey, look, check this out. A match. I actually think I'm a foam roll before I go to the gym because my back is tight as fuck. Fuck. Or I might jump on that tens unit for a little bit just to kind of relax my back. But I didn't work out yesterday, man. I had a. I went, not my Kristen, but my cousin's Kristen. He's talking to a girl named Kristen. But me and Kristen went to his house early in the morning and decorated because he graduated yesterday, he graduated from college. So kudos to you, big dog. Then I went to his graduation and then. Bruh. I should have recorded this because this is like one in a million. That never happens. My mom bought a new truck. My mom doesn't buy anything new. Anything new. Vehicle, lawnmower. She's like, buy it used. It's cheaper and it works just as good. I convinced her into, you know, I pulled a couple strings out my asshole because of the guy that eating ass and shit. But, uh, no, nah, I pulled a couple strings out my ass and I looked out for her. My man looked out for her. So she was able to get her. Ah, uh, uh, fuck, what is it? It's a Kia um, Sorento. It's like the big SUV type thing. That shit is nice as fuck. Me and Chris, I'm thinking about going about a month or two and buying the same thing. But, uh, John, you ain't balling, nigga. You broke as fuck. But, uh, yeah, I'm about to head to the gym. I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, put my pre-workout in this shit cup since I am the shit. And uh, get ready for the gym. I'm going to take... Ergo Pre. I don't really, I like the Appleberry. It tastes real good. I just don't, I honestly, I can't find the Ergo Max. But we're going to take this shit and I think I'm going to foam roll and then head to the gym. Hey, look, since I'm on the topic of this, hey, look, I don't give a damn what nobody says. You see, you see that little, that little sprinkle of pre on the side of the cup? You always got to get every bit. That could be the reason that you don't hit your lift today. And I know a lot of people are going to ask me, why would you put orange juice in your pre-workout? Why would you do that? Nigga, that big ass container only had about this much orange juice in it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I like orange juice. I like pre workout. I feel like dying. It's okay. Let me do what the fuck I want to do. I don't talk about you, like, I don't know, doing other shit. Like, fucking. Fucking 13 bitches and shit. It ain't my problem. Hey, look, I do have a quick story for y'all, real quick. So, yesterday. My mom was like, we're sitting down at the table and the guy at the Kia place was just like, yeah, man, he was just like, you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? But my mom looks this nigga straight in his face and was like, he's a personal trainer, but he also talks about bad stuff. He was like, what, what do you mean bad stuff? I said, what I promote. And he was like, fitness, right? And my mom was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, it's not, uh-uh. And he was just like, oh, I said, little nigga, I said, I promote eating ass at this very moment. This is what this motherfucker did. Hold on. I want to show you his face. This motherfucker went just like this. After I said this is exactly what this nigga looked like. What? I was like, yeah, nigga. I was just like, I sell shirts with that shit. I promote that shit. He was like, damn. And I think Loki he had to keep it professional because he was at work because most motherfuckers are like, what, nigga, you out here eating ass? Uh, yeah, nigga. I'm about to foam roll. Get to the gym. What you want, blood? What you want, blood? What you want? Yo, like, Loki, he's scared to death of my fucking camera. What you want? What you want? Tell me what you want. It's not that simple, Jack. Tell me what the fuck you want. It's not that simple. Bitch, just tell me what the fuck you want. Yeah, pussy. God damn it. Y'all niggas thought that I was about to foam roll. I gotta take a shit. You have a fart and like fucking like low key. Like you can smell the shit. So you just know it's about to go down. 
baby wipes. That's the secret. Would you rather shampoo your carpets or sweep your carpets? I'm going with shampoo, baby. Shampoo. Shampoo. Friends, how many of us have them when you got a shit? Friends, oh, damn. Hey, look, I'm in my car. I don't know. Hey, y'all hear that chopper? They're looking for me, but I'm hiding. Y'all better start taking care of your damn teeth, boy. That's the first thing I look at when I talk to people. But, uh, hey, look, so check this out. I might go to the gym later. I know I just took my pre, but y'all know I'm addicted to pre-workout and, like, caffeine and shit. Because I know I need to change my oil. So I may go ahead and just ride to Walmart, pick up my oil and everything, do a fuel injection and shit, go to my mom's house, change my oil, and then go to the gym, which I probably won't go to the gym. So we'll see what happens. It's just man, sometimes you're just having them days, bro, just where you want to sit on your ass, but you kind of got to be productive. I'll let y'all know what I'm going to do. Fucking delicious, right? Yeah. He got that what? That thick white bitch. Oh man, my black bitch gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, guys, we just finished the workout. I'm about to head to Walmart. I gotta get that shit change my oil, and I'm gonna head to my mom's house. Check this out, guys. I'm on the way to my mom's house right now because she lives in the country. I went and picked up the oil. I got me a thick, thick, thick white bitch. You like that? I'm driving, nigga. No hands. Use the knees. I am a horrible example of how to live your life, just so you'll know. Do not copy anything that I do. I am a good person sometimes. But look, we're on the way to my mom's house, and then we're going to change this oil because I like to take care of my shit. We call my turtle, a.k.a. Jimmy the turtle, a.k.a. Strain Bang, because that nigga mean and green. Y'all niggas pick on me, but I got enough money to buy you a car and your mama car. And then, uh, fuck your sister as long as she over 18. So I'm at my mom's house. Woo, mom, look at that t-shirt my mom got. Damn! <laughs> look at, you know, hey, look. John, John, this is where I grew up, son. Look, nothing, nothing out here, son. Nothing. Look at this. Country land. Country land. Ain't nothing out here. Where's the store at? Where's the store? There is no store. I think I got the plug calling me. What the fuck? Hello? What's up, bitch? Yeah, that's the only, that's the only part that's kind of crazy. Nah, just, just, yeah, just make sure you wipe down the bulbs and everything and like wipe down the acrylics and dust like where the, um, acrylic, the bottom of the acrylic is. Yeah, just make sure you dust that and everything. All right, nigga, that it? Oh yeah, bro, take it easy. See how you talk to your manager? That was my manager. But uh, yeah, hey, look, bro, check out my mom's shit, bro. Check out my mom's shit. Look at this mother, what? Mom is out here balling. Shit. That motherfucker clean as shit, boy. It is the Kia. The Kia Sorrento. Hey, go check out Joey Griffin at Kia.
Kia in Rocky Mount, bro. Tell them Bull Sweet sent you. Tell them Brian Sweet sent you. I'm gonna get my mom to get the keys. See y'all can come check this shit out. But boy, that motherfucker is nice. So look, what I'm about to do, I'm about to actually wash my car and then I'm gonna change the oil on my car. Hey, come here, baby. Hey, come here, you bitch. Yo, I've, nigga, let me go. Let me go, bitch. God damn it, I've had this cat, bro since I was in like second grade. Let go, bitch. Hey, Snoozy. Her name's Snoozer. Hey, baby girl. She old as fuck, boy. She's about to unlock it for you guys. Nah, I just want to show them niggas the inside of it. Unlock it for oh. me. I'm out here balling and shit. <laughs> so look, this is the back. Make sure y'all can see this shit. Got that new car smell. Looking good as shit, boy. Hey, this is, this is one reason that me and Chris are thinking about getting one of these. The trunk space? Look how big that is, bro. You could fit like 13 bodies in there. No, it look. Yeah, he told me to. Yeah. Chill, that's where we're gonna keep the kilos at, Mom. More, you take this out. Yeah, that's where you keep the bricks at. Yeah, but you take this out and you got more storage space. You know how much weed we got out of there? My mom don't even pay me any attention, guys. <laughs> she don't be bothered by shit I say. But look, look at the front of it. What? Got the touch screen navigation. That shit is nice, bro. It is really nice in here. About to get up on the hair and change this all. Yo, snap. Damn it. Which time I grab the wrong one, more? You know. You're supposed to be looking out. You're supposed to be the MVP. You trip. Oh, God. Lord have mercy. sometimes so look man I want y'all to see my car right I drive a 99 Ford Taurus you can see the paint is chipped like hell headlight is about to fall out look at that paint chip now I will say bro the inside has held up really good I mean besides this part right here lifting up I mean I just armor all it my mom helped me vacuum, edit everything. Like I said, bro, the paint's chipped and everything. The, the rims still look okay. The bumper actually could potentially fall off at any point. The trunk is fucked up. But hey, look, check this out. Check this shit out. I don't give a shit, bro. Like this car has lasted me for about six years and I'm gonna drive this motherfucker till the wheels fall off. I'm gonna explain to you guys later when I get home because I'm actually about to head out. I'm gonna explain to you how a lot of you guys think your money, such as like cars, your clothes and everything, it makes you who you are. I promise you, once I explain this shit to you, you're gonna be like, oh, that nigga makes perfect sense because I have the money to go get a new car. But why? That fucking AC don't work. The windshield wipers randomly go off sometimes. The, the, the car is crazy, bro, but I love that motherfucker. Hey, look, man, sorry, I got really got caught up uh, yesterday, so this is Monday. I recorded that video on Sunday when I was at my mom's house and everything. Today is Monday, it's Monday at uh, nine o'clock. So I just got off work and I came home to finish this video. So I wanna explain something to y'all real quick. 
The reason why I always drive that car, bro, I've had that car for well over either, either five or six years now. Bought it from an old white lady, and she took care of it, man, so I took care of it. And that car has been lasting me for so long. I mean, I used to drive that car like six-hour trips, you know, 10-hour trips, like everything. I used to drive the hell out of that car. And it had little issues, like it would kind of like run hot and shit, but I figured out how to work the car. But a dude told me once, well, an older gentleman told me one time, he saw me walk into my car and no lie, bro, there was a uh, there was a fucking Mustang, like a 2000, this was probably like 2014. There was a Mustang next to my car and I unlocked my car door and I opened up the car and he said, sweet, you drive a Ford Taurus? I said, yeah, bro, I said, it's my motherfucking turtle, bro. He said, that's, that's kind of crazy that you sound like really enthusiastic about the car. I said, hey, bro, that motherfucker give me the point A to point B. I don't give a shit, bro. He said, you really don't see that nowadays. He was just like, most people are so caught up in today's society. Like, they want to have, like, the fanciest cars, you know, the diamonds around their neck, all this and that. He was just like, you do good. He said, I bet you save your money, don't you? Damn, can we focus real quick? Like, you need me to squeeze in, baby girl? Like, damn. You want to focus? I right, appreciate it. But no, he told me he was just like, so many people call up in materialistic things. He said, let me ask you something real quick. He said, if I took everything from you, every fucking dime that you had, you know, your car, everything, he said, you just had the clothes on your back. Do you think you could like build yourself up back to where you are today? And I was like, hell yeah. And I thought about it for a second, man. It's like, you look at all these people born into money, you know, like they become assholes and shit. It's like, don't get me wrong, like they build up their business and everything. They're so caught up with like what they have in life. And in high school, I didn't really understand this shit. So I used to see kids pull up in like 2010, you know, Ford F-150s, fucking brand new Mustangs right off the lot, Jeeps and shit. And I was just like, damn, man. And I'm riding the bus every day. Like, you know, I man, I had a nice as shit. Like, I had off, I don't, do y'all remember the Stephen Mulberry shoes, bro? Like, I had those shits, bro. But it's, so many people are caught up in materialistic things that it's sad in today's society that we'll spend $150 on a pair of shoes just so they look good. I mean, why not take that $150 and put it in your savings account and rock with what you got? Don't get me wrong, like, take care of yourself. But I used to envy all these kids, man, that had all these fancy ass vehicles, like when they were in high school, and I, it's, Fucking crazy, bro. 90% of these motherfuckers, they're either hooked on fucking hard drugs, like fucking heroin, cocaine, and everything. They're fucking alcoholics. Dropped out of college. Took all their parents' fucking money, bro, and just ran that shit straight into the motherfucking ground. And I'm chilling, bro. I'm fucking chilling, man. I, I love my fucking car. And I just want to get a message through to the younger crowd that's out there because I really wish somebody did explain this to me. Like, yes, your parents or your family, whoever's taking care of you, may not be as fortunate as you want them to be. Like, I used to, oh, God, it was a dream of mine, man, to drive to high school and, like, leave school, like, driving in my own car. I never experienced that, and I never will. But even to, like, even to this day, like, when I'm training people and everything, and, like, we leave the gym together, they'll see me walk up to my car, and they'll be like, you're, you're driving this shit? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, that's kind of shocking. And I'm like, it's cool, bro. Like, I, I really don't care. Like... I would rather, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, bro. Like, I have money in my, like, account. I have money, mad money in my savings account and in my checkings account. Like, but if I feel like me and Kristen need a new car, like, don't get me wrong. I'm going to put Kristen in a brand new car, like, all day long. She's going to have AC. She's going to have all the whole nine. She doesn't have to worry about breaking down. She's good. But I'm going to do what I need to do to make sure that we're okay. I mean, yes, we are talking about buying a new car in a few months, but that's later down the road. But just... Be appreciative of what you have in life, bro, because that shit, I mean, it's in the long run, that shit can be taken from you at any given point in the day. And, like, really, like, what are you really left with? Like, fucking nothing. I had a friend, he bought a fucking 2018 fucking truck, and in two days, he flipped the son of a bitch off the road. He swear. Hey, <coughs> <coughs> I ain't coughing to fucking play him. I really choked on my spit. But in two days after he bought a truck, somehow or another he flipped the motherfucker at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, nigga, we know you was drunk. But, uh, hey, look, man, don't forget as always, tell your moms, tell your aunts, tell your baby sisters, long as she over what, 18. Anytime I pull out this halo light, bro, I'm trying to tell you, like, don't get your mom close to the sc <sighs> Focus on me, bitch. Focus. Ho, ho, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Focus on me. Focus, bitch. Is it fo- Don't need to back up. You want me in close? Come on, bitch. I'm looking at that. Ooh, 
go grab your mom real quick. Go grab your mom real quick. Hit pause on the screen. <laughs> your mom about to write me a check, boy. Hey, take care of y'all teeth, nigga. Everybody always talks about my teeth when I pull out this halo light. The secret's eating ass, bitches. <laughs>